Have you been learning how to trade Forex, putting in 10,000 hours, or maybe you've been trading for a couple of months or years, but you still feel stuck, the market is moving against you, you're consistently giving back all your profits, and now you're on the verge of giving up. If that sounds anything like you, it's simple. Just give up. What are you really waiting for? Just kidding. In this video, I'll share a simple mindset hack that you can implement today to eliminate all those limiting beliefs that are currently holding you back from succeeding in Forex. The number one thing that is holding you back from succeeding in Forex is this mindset that you can do whatever you choose to be in the Forex market just because there are many ways of trading the Forex market. You know for a fact that a majority of retail traders are lossaholics and yet you still think and act like them believing that you're gonna get different results just because you think you're special. Understand that it's not entirely your fault though and this mindset can be fixed. But before we get to how you should be thinking so you can succeed in Forex, we must first understand the root of the problem, the real reason why you are currently feeling stuck. We are going to use my journey to explain the root cause of the problem, right? So when I started trading back in 2016, the first thing that I learned was choosing about what type of trade, trade I would become, right? So you could either be a scalper, a day trader, a swing trader, etc. So for me, I chose to be a day trader at that point. So now I know you might be thinking to yourself, but that's not, a, that's not really a problem. Well, it is from that first decision alone that the seed of limitation was planted in my mind about how the market really works. Because at that point, everything shifted from being about the market to actually being about me because I had to choose what type of trader I needed to become. Let me explain this further. If you really take a closer look, this limited way of thinking is the cause of your struggles. So I understand you might disagree with me for now, but just hang in there. Actually, leave a comment below if you are familiar with any of the following uh, limiting mindset or beliefs that you have about the market. I'm a day trader. I am a swing trader. I only trade price action. Price action is king. I only trade fundamentals. Fundamentals don't work. I only trade the news. I only trade smart money concepts. How can I make 50 pips a day? Which time frame is the best for trading? So based on all the statements I've just mentioned, all questions, now ask yourself, is the focus really, really on the market or is the focus on what you like as a retail trader? So let us use nature as an example. We have two guys, right? Guy number one is Lossaholic. Guy number two is Mr. Dalio, right? So Lossaholic decides that, okay, for the rest of the year, I'm going to wear only a short and a vest, right? So for the rest of the year, that's what he's going to wear, right? So he is completely disregarding the fact that nature has seasons and we dress appropriately for different seasons, right? But Mr. Dalio, on the other hand, he does not focus on what he wants to dress or how he feels, but he focuses only on nature. So he tells himself that if it's winter, I'll wear warm clothes. If it's summer, I'll wear more, more light clothing, like your vest, like your short. So he has not limited himself to what he can wear or what he can do in response to nature. But Mr. Losaolik, on the other hand, has definitely limited himself. So now, if we take the very same concept and we bring it back to the market, are you starting to understand where your lack of patience as well as your lack of dis discipline is actually stemming from? It is this idea that you are trying to make the market bend to your demands based on how you feel, based on what type of trading style suits you so you feel as if the market should abide to that when in actual fact you should be responsive to the market right if the market gives you a certain environment just like nature gives us different seasons 
that is how you should be positioning yourself. Just like nature has seasons, the market also has different risk environments. We are either in a risk on environment or we are in a risk of environment. And you should understand the different environments because the market will also tell you or show you which environment it is currently in if you pay close enough attention to it. So just like the example we used of nature, if the market is in a risk on environment, you know how you should be positioning yourself. If the market is in a risk of environment, you should also know how to position yourself. That on itself eliminates all the limiting beliefs that you've been holding of the fact that you need to only be a day trader or you need to only be a swing trader or you need to only be trading fundamentals or only trading price action but your focus has now shifted from you to actually being on the market which is what is most important to actually wrap this up it's all about doing what the market wants you to do based on the environment that the market is in it is about being able to trade different asset classes not limiting yourself to only trading forex or only trading one currency pay but being able to trade different asset classes across different time horizons or different time frames based on what the market is telling you and that will actually help you to increase your opportunities in the market because you are now focusing on the market and not on yourself and that is the first step to becoming a profitable trader you need to be hybrid in the market you need to flow with the market understand what the market wants you to do and act according set no limitations whenever you are approaching the market only focus on the market and what it wants you to do and that is actually how real smart money traders think to succeed in forex